Hey everybody, welcome back. This is gonna be a big episode. We're fighting this boss for two reasons. One is the party's ready. I think roughly as ready as it could ever be. The other one, well, we could use a little bit more money, but to, to upgrade the ability slightly. But the other one is um, we get double the shards this week, right? That's the town event plus 100% shards. That's huge. I mean, as of right now, we have 12 shards. Can't do jack with them. I, I to be honest with you, I don't even remember where the heck you spend them. <laughs> Pretty sure you spend them at the the nomad wagon, and then you shuffle. Look at this. Can't buy crap. We could buy some amazing stuff. Presumably, if we got sixty. Vessel only. Plus twenty percent healing skills of holy waters in your inventory. Plus twenty five percent damage against husk. Plus twenty five percent damage against eldritch. Got to be honest, doesn't seem that good. How about plus two speed, plus fifteen dodge? How about? Well, okay, not so much. Plus fifteen percent damage on attack. Random target five percent. Well, that's dangerous. But extra max HP and blight skill chance as well, dude. Like, there's some good stuff going on here. We'll have to think about that once we. Uh, once we win, if we win. But this will be a boss fight. It's medium length. I don't know if you camp on a medium length mission here. On the farms, maybe? Maybe this one doesn't just take place in one world, like one level, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. So it would be me at the front, Malf in the number four position, usually Kate in the number three position. But actually, now that I think about it, it's gotta be swapped. Because he can now do incision, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Do we want to maybe remove a stun to put a de-stealth? I'm going to say no, because we have tracking shot on Justin. The usual suspects. But I'm a little scared. Just a little scared. And you know what? We actually want Justin up front. Good cop, bad cop. I don't even know what that means, but okay, cool. Alright. Let's try. Unequip, sort by rarity. Uh, where's this, uh, like, extra healing? Yeah, this is what we want. Extra healing, but extra stress. That's huge, because I heard that this boss does insane damage. And then, I don't really care if you do damage. I would rather have our healer just stay alive. Then we'll go to our... Uh, Plague Doctor. Disease Resist is probably not likely to be relevant. Extra Accuracy seems good. And I hear that um, Blight is also really useful. So if we can get anything that raises our Blight... I mean, you could take a Blight Stone or a Blight Charm. Blight Stone would be what you would take. Yeah, I think it fits, even though minus one speed, in some situations, will have relevancy. I don't really want to lower dodge, but for extra crit chance, I think I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. If we can get that, plus, like, something that raises maximum HP, like this, takes you to 34. And then you get that, lowers your dodge, but raises your crit chance. I like that. We'll follow that up. I mean, extra dodge is always nice. I have to think a little bit. Extra stun chance, lower speed? I don't think so. We might just leave it like that. I don't really want to lower dodge by four just to get 10% damage. That means, like, two damage per hit. I mean, it adds up, but... Eh. Maybe, maybe I talked myself into it. You know, I'll take a stun stone. Losing the speed sucks, but we're already at two. So everybody's equipped with something. It's the first time we've had that happen in a long time. Um, now, we, could, we should take some... Laudanum, I think. Because laudanum removes madness. I recently learned this. Let me see if my cheat sheet... I gotta consult my homework. See if it actually has a... What you should take for the farmstead on a medium mission. Because if it does... I mean, this is all so new to me. It's a new boss on a new area I've never seen before in my life. No, okay. So I have no idea. What would you normally take on a medium mission? Lots of torches. Lots of food. 
I'll take two stacks just to be safe, I guess. And then we would want... Remember, you, you do need shovels, I guess. Three seems like a good number. I think some holy water, maybe. We already had some. I need to take four laudanum. Just in case, because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And we'll stack up anti-venom and... And embark, I guess, and, and, and see how it goes. Slabs etched with certain celestial designs were erected around the perimeter of the I hope it's state. Reggie Miller. The Miller, lamentably eager for some early sign of improvement, fixed his watery eyes intently upon the wilted fields and listless mill. I think this is like a, it's a in, as inspired by the movie Annihilation in the book that is not called Annihilation, but it's part of the Anni Annihilation trilogy. Get a little like, uh, you know, uh, mysterious thing crashes into a uh, rural area sort of vibe. Sounds familiar, right? Oh, so we got four, or rather three places we can stop, it looks like. Sure. Um, Celestial Cornerstone. Let's do it. Let's do I'm ready. I'm ready to try. Onward. Onward, friends. Alright. Farmstead's Miasma. Minus 10% healing received plus 10% stress. I don't know how that changes things. So you've gone stealth. That's fine. I cannot use a plague grenade. That sucks. Your bleed resist exists. That's fine. We're probably gonna kill you with a point-blank shot or at least come close. So let's land this. Hope for a bleed. Good. Very good. Point-blank shot. Extremely good. Remove the corpse as well, even better. Then, um, we can't de-stealth you. We need a tracking shot for that. So, this is more... You would probably go for, in my opinion, a dazzling light via, versus just going for the raw damage. Because the stun is likely to happen here. And I mean, Zealous Accusation... That's fine. Hon honestly, not that big of a deal. This dude's dead anyway. It's the horse that's a problem. He should have the highest speed. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. We can't do anything. We don't want to pass. We'll move. It's unfortunate, but we can't afford the stress. Okay. Well. That's how that happens. Because you're out. I hate to do it, but we could stun. If I hate to do it, you know that in my head I'm like, I'm loving to do it. Okay. Just smack. Wow, this is going a little more poorly than I would have hoped. Um, I'm going to move up to, and it is kind of a waste of a turn. We got two uh, horses now. Dude, okay, your blight resist is pretty low. Unfortunately, that's not the move I used, but it did <laughs> buy me a turn. Sorry, right, don't worry. NL's brain is broken, so he's gone stealth again. You want to bring him out of stealth? I don't know. Right now we're kind of, kind of waffling. You know, waffling back and forth. This dude's dodge is out of control, apparently. Give me a tracking shot on this guy. Or a wicked slice for 6 to 12. Let's try the tracking shot. Buffs us very slightly. 120, 70. Ugh. Okay, so we're going way too slow. Really need to speed it up. But, I mean, we're in... I wouldn't describe it as a holding pattern. We're in a position that right now looks okay. HP-wise. Little 10 stress. Not a concern. Land the actual plague grenade, please. Good. 15 points of blight is outrageous. I knew we were going to hit you one day. Now you could go for a stun on the front unit. I think that's what you do. It's a coin flip stun. It's more effective, in my opinion, than just going for the, the damage and the self-heal right now. And I know we got this unit at the back, but there we go. That's the moneymaker. We do have to... Well, we were trying to clear the corpse, but a zealous accusation should handle them pretty easily. This guy at the back, he's got high stun chance still. Hit him with the plague, boys. Good. That's eight, ten damage of Blight. Even better. So if we can hit him for 13, he's dead. 35% chance to crit, I think you have to go for it. Didn't work and that's okay. You just accept it. Okay, cleared the crystals. Everything's looking just fine. I wish you didn't get a chance to attack, but you do. It hurts. And it shuffles. But it's okay, because we'll know uh, after that we'll immediately go party heal. The wounds of war can be 
and everybody's looking relatively good. Another horse. And these guys, they did get shuffled, but they're not in a terrible situation right now. You're dead, right? You're dead. Critted him on the plague grenade. Got him looking like a goose. That's 25 damage of blight. If we can just chain stun him, we're in a great spot. He's going to get one attack. You can't really chain stun, I guess, now that I think about it. Okay, we got to take him out of stealth. No need for a heal. Let's just move back into default positions. You can't even see him, so... I mean, it, it's a turn to buff. That's not a bad thing. You can't do a tracking shot. Because he's not in the front. Okay, well. It is what it is. He is still slowly melting. That's a probably the worst shuffle we've ever had. That's extremely good, though. Now, you probably want to go for... I mean, our HP's not that... I think you go for the stun. It's a bit dicey. You, I was going to say, if it doesn't work, people are going to be none too pleased. He's dead, though. Okay, so we, the problem is we want to get all of our units back into their positions. And that's going to take a little bit more time. But it's just farm hands for now. I think a stun is okay. It's just to buy us the slightest bit of time while these guys dab on the haters. Stun didn't work. We take four damage with no other associated effects. You move forward too. I don't want to push this guy back though. Beauty crit. Beauty crit. That's stress relief as well. Everything's looking fine. You know what you do? Move back one. Then Justin can move forward two on his turn. Six with the bleed please. Okay. Back in default positions. What's the odds of a judgment hitting and killing? Low. Let's take a stun instead. Dab on the haters. He's dead. We got a free turn. This is great. St stress is fine. It's, uh, it's health that's at a premium. So we're going to move back. Puts you in point blank range. It's not really a free turn, right? Because we got to spawn. But you get the idea. Um... Generally speaking, we're going to start with a Plague Grenade. It's progress. We used to start with stun. Then we did stun accidentally. Now we mix it up. This one, like, you're not worth a point-blank shot. No offense. Their formation is broken. Maintain the okay. offensive. Could party heal? Your stun resist is crazy. I think a party heal is just fine. Not in dire need, but... You know, just for a little bit of maintenance seems appropriate. This is what happens when you mark a unit. That's fine. Little stress. Nothing to freak out about just yet. Now, all we can really do is hit this guy, but we'd like to clear the corpse as well. You know he's going to repost. Would you rather just... I don't know. I'd like to prevent this thing from even becoming a crystal. Reality bend. One damage. I was going to say, I assume some stress on that. Resisted whatever debuff. Ah, didn't even get that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, you know. Lesson learned. Again, sorry to inform you that you are not even worth a point-blank shot. We're going to save that for a tankier enemy. Melf, you're doing good work. Think if you want to hit him with... Oh, you can't hit him with an incision. If you want to hit him with the... Plague Grenade. Could be worse. 10 damage, he's dead. So you, you got the kill, even if it doesn't look like that. Your choice is very simple. Do you go for the Zealous? The answer to that question is extremely yes. <laughs> it's also a modest self-heal. Yeah, yeah, we're looking good. Okay, so then you just go for the straight-up heal. That's huge. Not quite full HP, but getting back up there. We're almost at the first threshold. And we get to go first. Wow, that's very merciful. Flag grenade for zero is okay, because the real damage is in the blight. Just like the real pro tips in the comments. Beastial scream. Stress. No debuff, okay. Zealous. I think it's worth a, worth a stab. We got lucky. 
Rarely does a unit get to surpass the double dab in terms of usefulness. One of these days, a point blank shot is going to be appropriate. For now, I got to think about this. Party heals fine. You know these are going to become crystals, but that's a good zealous accusation. Personally, kind of like the dazzling light attempt. The stun works out nicely. Buys us a turn of not having to worry about being reshuffled, which has good dividends to be paid in the future as well. So, another plague grenade for zero. Blight, taking ten. We need to hit you for two, which seems easy enough. I mean... <laughs> with you got a heal off of it. Why did we get a heal off of that? I don't know. Zealous should work. Another Lovely. So he's dead even if he attacks first. Spawns another sleepers. Oh, this just takes us out. Okay, good to go. Honestly, so far so good. What the heck do you do with this thing? Gleaming shards. Okay, give me a moment. I gotta go back. In this situation, do you blame me? Uh, well, it just gives you shards times 5 to 15, apparently. Sometimes greed is good. Five. <laughs> It's our first chance at it. I'm not going to be mad. I don't even think we need to eat yet. I think moving onward is sensible. The light changes. Gleaming. What? Plus 15% bleed skill chance. Plus 15% healing skills. Both of those very important for us. But they get better bleed and better crit as well. Well, I mean, straight up... Stun resist is low. Kind of tempting, but, I mean... In my world, you know, in this family, we chunk. You resisted the blight. Okay, good to know. Stumbling scratch. Not that bad. Stress is more dangerous than HP, because we don't have a stress healer. And that's okay. Now, your stun resist is high enough. That frightens me slightly. Um... There's no need for a party heal in general. I think you either try to stun this guy or you try to stun... Oh, you can't stun there. You could land a Judgment for 4 to 8 damage. If it hit for 7 or 8, it would get you, but the odds of it even hitting are low. I think this, even with the stun chance, is a, is a better option. Just in terms of, like, uh, Occam's Razor. You are worthy of Point Blank Shot, I think. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Dude, the, the shader and lighting effects here look so nice. Did you, you... You didn't destroy the corpse. I was so excited for you to destroy that corpse. Um, you got 40 protection, so you're really more of like a damage over time sort of enemy, but, uh, you know, for lack of a better option... You know what? Turn one, buff yourself. I'm assuming it lasts this entire battle, so that's pretty good. Okay, usually, what's your blight resist? Zero. I love it. Let's go to town here. Hit for one. Blighted. That means you're dead. That stress is extremely annoying, though. I just worry, do I have to hit you? You know what I mean? Like, or is it, when it's your turn, are you going to explode or are you just going to die? I'm assuming you're just going to die. But I can't say for certain. This time, um, I mean, honestly, I think the judgment is probably your best option, but you could get away with a party heal. Just keep everybody copacetic. As the retreat, by the way, is... Very nice. It's easier to target this unit at the back than it is at the front. Ooh, okay, we got a big stress boy at the back. Um, he's pretty strong against Blight. He's weak against stun. So I'm gonna hit him with one of these. If it stuns this guy, bonus, but... Hey, that's huge. Okay. So that saved us probably 20 stress on a unit. That's important. Then, who do you go for? Well, I mean, if I could take this guy out reliably, I would like to. No crit, but that's okay. Still fine. Unfortunate, but fine. There's nothing we can do about it, is the thing. And just very, very slowly working on the dude with 40% protection. 
What's your speed? Nine? Ooh, you don't get to go first. There is a god. Okay. You can't be incisioned. You can go for the blight chance. It's the only way you kill him reliably before he shows up. Oh, disorienting blast is another stun and also clears corpses. That would have been good to look at, but I am a fool. Great work. Mouth, you should get stress reduction for that. That's politics, dude. Ugh. Resisted the move, at least. It's okay. Oh, let's go! The stress reduction, the little cherry on top. So I, I'm thinking about moving him up for a point-blank shot, but it is what it is. Large corpse eater. Hmm. Okay. Uh, your blight is extremely high. Hear me out here. What do you do? <laughs> You think, uh, like, what I'm thinking right now is hit this guy with some DOTs, get him killed, and then you can focus this other one. That, if I'm being honest, scares the crap out of me. We can pray. Doesn't, ba doesn't matter to me, apparently. Um, stun chance is low. Good crit, lower stress. He's killable. You need him for six. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Progress is being made. Seeds of Madness, easy enough to deal with. Now, this guy at the back, you got to think about it, right? Like, what do you hit him with? A stun chance is reasonably likely. It would also clear corpses, but... I don't know if these count as corpses anymore. They don't. He is stunned. Okay, so it buys us a turn to deal with this trash. And uh, ideally, maybe land some crits on the corpse eater. fine. It's a low percentage chance to hit. Back to the pit. All right. He's coming off the stun. Okay. You are also an issue. But your blight resist is low. So now we can get away with that. Although we maybe should have smacked you with some bleed first. really open for four dodges. Uh, dude, this is why you take four laudanums, man. Uh, it's only three stress. I can't justify it. Genuinely can't justify it. Even though that's what it's there for. We can justify it on mouth. Absolutely. We don't need to use a heal yet. In this family, we don't heal. What we do do is stun this guy and minimize stress gain. Beautiful. 50% chance. Never tell me the odds. I mean, even the stun chance on you is pretty high, but somebody's got to do damage. That's a low roll. Okay, you take Laudanum. And then I'm thinking, bleed this boy if you can. Dude! We hit you with that Laudanum, and you reward us with a beautiful crit and bleed. What can you say? He's, he's iced him. This dude's iced now. That's what happens. And power. Still gonna be more enemies. That's okay. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination. Be what are you talking direction. about, dude? I don't know what any of these words mean. Good heal on my boy. Rather take that heal than hit this guy for zero. Most likely outcome. You're going again. Wow, that's this time. The story's a little different. See, that's why this just it's a low percentage chance to hit is what it comes down to. Four damage is so bad there, but okay, he's dead on the next turn. If we get a chance, we can take a turn to heal up. Four times horror replied. That's why I didn't want to be too uh, aggressive with the laudanum. Honestly, we could take a turn to just move back, get a point blank shot ready to go. Malf, you take the laudanum again. You're never going to blight that boy at the back, but you may stun him. These two moves are so similar when the enemies are large. Ah, he resisted the stun. Okay. It is what it is. Now this guy's up at the front, which is where you want him. 
What do you do? You hit him? Or do you just, uh... Do you try for the stun? I think you, I think you smite him. We got rid of the enemy that creates horror. No need for heals. Maybe you go for the stun, because you're a little bit... Don't take it the wrong way. You're less valuable from a damage department, so... Four damage done to Melf. He's been marked. That's fine. Point blank. Shot is what we've been... That's what the doctor ordered. New enemies? No new enemies yet. Hit him with the D.O.T. You know me. Go for the stun now to try to buy us a turn where he doesn't attack. Dude's hit three coin flips in a row. No chance he hits a fourth. Well, I keep saying Mathis, but it's Justin. Justin's gonna finish the job. All he has to do is crit. You, you tried, buddy. You got close. Tentacle Devour. 12 damage. Bad. Not that bad. And I'm being honest. Again, what do you do? Quick stun. Attempt at least. Better than going for the like 5% blight chance, maybe even zero now that I think about it. Easy money heal on me. Critted for 18. Little stress relief across the board. Who doesn't love it? You're dead anyway. Give me a pistol shot. Oh, that's the good stuff. Oh, oh bleed it up, my friend. Bleed it up. Now, the problem is we do have a boss fight approaching. <laughs> so that's a little scary with how high our stress is already, but, you know, we didn't expect it to be easy. You. Okay. I mean, the thing is, it could heal you, but... I think we go for broke. Four damage may help. Came close. It's not that bad. The debuff stinks, but we're out after this anyway. Or close to it, at least. Alright. So this guy, not dead. But we'd probably... <sighs> what kills him? If we don't do it. I think you kill him with your Plague Doctor. That way, your melee units maybe have a chance to get back at him. I don't know. It left a corpse, so might have been. Oh, he's coming up anyway. Fair enough. Big miss. Smack him. In general, well, you're on three, so we'd have to. You have 21 HP. Well, that settles it because we're not gonna. Uh, we're not gonna hit him for 18. So that corpse will become a two a six HP units. There are two six HP units at the back. So that's actually frightening. But. If they both get blighted, they're both dead. Incredible. Okay. High damage. Good crit chance. You take what you can get. Could stun, but... Oh, well, wow. Maybe we should have stunned with the the low roll we got there. Um, you got to kill him at some point, though. What are you going to do, right? Nine damage. Wow. Stun on the Plague Doctor. He got his job done this turn. He also healed off of their death. We're still going, huh? This would be a great turn to have the Plague Doctor. This one hurts me a little bit. Okay, Malf's gonna have some stress-related issues. Almost no question about it. You stumbled, you scratch. Does it make you feel good? Things have gotta die. Leave the stuns to the other units. You start smacking. That's an extreme low roll. That, you know, you did just enough. Never mind. Now, you can stun, you can heal. You're not going to clear the corpse. The corpse is going to change, and that's okay. I think you go for the... Oh, you can't do a backline stun. Well, in that case, I think you go for the heal. That's a pretty high roll. It's bad and it's good. The bad is abundantly clear. What's your, your bleed resistance? Oh, I, I just can't hit you with that. 
I don't, stunning you doesn't make sense. Stunning you makes a lot of sense. Basically, we have to prioritize crushing the crystal. So even, even if we don't get to use point blank, point blank shot, we gotta, we gotta do it, you know? I wish we didn't. Very on, well, relatively like 47 or something percent chance to do it. I think you risk it and it didn't work and that's okay. What we were hoping to do is kill it and then be able to do a point blank shot on this guy. That was my bad. I didn't even realize because we're in the front. We couldn't do a pistol shot. We got lucky. Yeah, send him back. Maybe not with that much damage. Resisted the move. Fantastic. Oh, we're out. <laughs> okay, I know this heals like crazy. Yeah. The body's refreshed. Great news. He's back. Um, could use a little stress reduction. Let's eat. Uh, there's nothing we can do about this stress. I think we just have to accept that that it is what it is. We still have two laudanum, but it doesn't, doesn't do anything. Yeah? Okay. Rose of Earth. Filled with blood. Light resist is low. So, start with the DOT. You know me. Just get everything, I think, with, with the exception of stress, everything is going okay right now. I think you should just accept, you know, it is what it is, and you're performing... I don't know if I'd say admirably, but I don't think you're performing this admirably. I think you're doing just fine. Now, no heal is necessary. A stun is not necessarily bad. I, I kind of like the idea of a stun on the horse, even though... Like, this guy's dead to Zealous. Or, uh, yeah, Zealous Accusation. So I'd rather take the coin flip to stun him. That's fine. We know we're going to get reposted here. Killed an enemy. Well worth it. Hope there goes gravity. 12 extra stress. Seeds of madness. That's a zealous accusation waiting to happen. Stun. Burns off another turn. Beauty. Uh, what do we like? Honestly, I mean, there's a chance you go for that. Then what, what's the benefit of doing this instead of going for another plague? It's very low. Because we're going to use a zealous accusation and probably get two kills regardless. So he should be dead. We're going to get reposted again. Hmm. This guy, not dead. So we kind of blew it on that one, but what are the odds of hitting? 86, I'll take. Okay, just fine. The wounds of war can New enemy spawning in, I assume. Yeah, uh, not that strong. Nothing to worry about just yet. At the end of this, I'm assuming we have a boss. So I'm happy our HP is staying... Relatively good for now. That's great. A zealous puts you in lethal range potentially, um, or alternatively, how much is the, the bleed is up there? I'd rather you don't get a chance, but I'd rather not have any stress exist either. Well, a zealous picks up two kills now. I'd still rather, like, is judgment? Does it have any chance? Not really. We can stop you from attacking potentially. Nope. All right, it's all about zealous accusation. They are both going to get to attack. That's what happens when you get greedy, I guess. Lots of stress still coming in, but our units are staying somewhat sane. Mm, maybe no longer. Not quite 100. 98! Okay, so that's extremely scary. We got critted, which is very unfortunate, but... Here we go. Seeds of Madness. No new enemies this turn. That's insanely lucky. Strong heal. Good heal. Honestly. Put you in point blank range. 86. 86. Good. Very good. Alright. This unit at the back. The foreman. Okay. Stir the rabble. We've had him before, I think. The rabble are thoroughly stirred. We go next. Pretty high blight, pretty low stun. 
take a turn to handle our business, I think. Double stun, can't ask for anything more than that. It's unfortunate, but, you know, we can mitigate it. Resolve is being tested. He's become a stalwart. I knew it. My virtuous friend. Even the will benefits from the immune response. My friggin' hero. Blast him, Justin. Blast him. Send him back to the loam, dad. Past turn. That's unfortunate, but I understand the stress you're under right now. It's the right turn for it. Good, 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 good. Buy us just a little, just the slightest bit of time. I have truly mastered life and death. 15 stress reduction. He's a god. I think you try to incise this poor man. He's a hero! The absolute legend. Give me a... Give me a party heal. No. Give me a divine grace. Many hands. What is that? Buff. Hmm, you resist stuns, I understand. You gotta go. But if I can get you first, that's fine. That's okay. Sow the seeds. It's a little bit more stress. It's a lot more stress. Got blighted, but we did bring anti-venom, so... This is okay, I think. I don't even remember what that does. Oh, it stealths you. We can get around that. Mouth, if you bleed him. He's a, he's a legend. There's nothing else you can say. The man is an absolute legend. I'm not going to say he single-handedly saved us, but he alleviated a lot of the stress that me personally was feeling, that I personally was feeling in real life. So, absolutely, dude. Hit him with a quick stun. It buys us a lot of time. All right. This guy's in stealth. That's just, you know, you got to accept it. Well, I mean, we could have tracking shot him. I didn't think about that in the moment, even though I mentioned it the term prior. I have truly mastered life and death stress relief. My god. What can you say that hasn't already been said? True legendary status. Trample is dangerous. For you. This configuration can work just fine. I mean, what do you say here? You gotta... You're not gonna ice him with the judgment. So what you should... But you can't hit him with anything else. Yeah. I think you, you hit him with the judgment. Hope for a crit. Not crit, but high roll. And he's dead to bleed, now that I think about it. Then you go for the stun with your... Uh, with your Crusader. It's good damage. Didn't get stunned, but... Can't be mad. Farm hands. Beastial scream. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a scream, all right. No more stress, please. Ah, uh, it would have been a very important dodge, but still getting up there. Resisted the blight, at least. I don't really want to move you back two spots. Yet. I'm assuming we're going to be taken out of this world pretty soon. I don't necessarily want to say just deal with it. He's not dead yet, but he's close. Two turns. Or, actually, if you hit him with one judgment, he's iced. Okay. Now, I'm like, if you move, you move forward too. No, thank you. Crit would be amazing. Not crit, but close. Not crit, but close. You can't hit him. He's a, he's... You can't stop him. And I'm not being facetious. Nobody knows how. If I had figured out how to stop him, I would have stopped him by now. Please, move him up. Beautiful, beautiful. He's still got to go, so I think you hit him first. You got to... Oh, my lord. You have to remember, um... Justin's really the damage dealer. Now you have no choice. Alright, not good. Consider these rabble thoroughly... Stirred. Back one. I don't know, dude. It's kind of hard to go back one. 
when I got Malph on the on the top row here. The only question is he can't do anything. There's no point in moving him back one. You'd rather just move the Crusader up one. This is not great, but the next enemy that spawns, I believe. Stun. Dab on the haters. Stun. Beauty. Um, the next enemy that spawns, I believe, will take us out of this madness. I hope. So you're on seven with three bleed. Could move Mathis back, or adjust him back one. That's not really what we want, though. We'd rather... I mean, the Crusader... I'm not saying they're bad, but... I mean, look at that. I think that just... I'm not saying proved, but seems to make it... Seem like we made the right decision there. Ceaseless labor. It's alright. I'll get in front of your shot. Justin, nothing to worry about. Pause from labor. What happens there? Heals for five? As a... What a... What a Extreme waste of your own time, to be honest with you. I have truly mastered life and death. He has zero stress. What, 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 what can you say? He's a hero. Speed three. I think you ice him, dude. <laughs> oh my god. It's percolating out to the rest of the group. Alright, he finally got hit. We've proven a god can bleed. Stuns are not a terrible idea, in my opinion, here. Just keep yourself, uh... You know, basically, we want an extra action, because they've taken an action away from me, with all the moving that we've had to do. No, seeds need to be sown! Let's go! Be accused zealously? Alright. I know, I know. You're you're good. He never stops critting, dude! Thank God I gave him a move he can actually use from the front, right? No trespassers. Ooh. That's alright. Nothing a couple of Cheetos won't fix, right? I meant we were gonna feed him, but you know, if our vessel's not doing anything else, it like heals fine too. Pause from labor. It's an extreme waste of your time. I'm telling you, you're dead. We shouldn't have even wasted your your initiative. Look at that. All right, who's spawning? Beyond time and space? Take me out of here. Okay, 42 minutes in. We're still going relatively strong. From the, comets, the Miller's right. Hearth. The Miller's. <laughs> the the Miller's Hearth. It's a camp. Oh! Okay. Stress relief, by far the most important, but a buff would be amazing as well. So, all party members, if religious, minus stress. If not religious, minus a little bit of stress. Ascetic. Now, it sounds religious, but may not be. Not many of these units seem religious, but you are religious. Hmm. It's 15 stress. Hold up. Self, minus 25 stress. All other companions, you take a little dice roll. I'm willing to roll. I'm okay with that. Whole party minus 15 stress. Now, I would love, by the way, to not be ambushed. But I don't think there's any way we can do that. I think we just got to accept this is where we stand. Rest up. Thank God, because I also had not shuffled my party. <laughs> All right, everybody's basically full. Let's go do it. Hello, it's the Miller. Regained. All right, stress is relatively okay. Mouth. It's Miller v. Mouth. 
You think you're gonna stop this guy? Okay, he's super resistant to bleed, so it's not even... It's worth doing it for damage. But wouldn't you rather just get a little... Well, what's your crit chance? 11? You'd rather just get a stun chance of 25, maybe. No! Don't be a... F okay, well, we should have obviously done that. The Master beckons. Summon some boys, right? Alright, now he's in blightable range. This guy's gotta go. I'm gonna say, buff yourself. Because a point, bang, point blank shot is probably gonna ice that fool. Oh, he came to life from the dead. And uh, he gets to go before Justin. I see how it is. Winter's breath. He's all iced up. Frozen farmhand. He's got some protection now. That's no joke. Got mad weapons too. Ain't trying to hear none. I'm trying to hear that. That's what he says. Stun his, stun his butt. His butt is stunned. Justin, this is your time to shine. Six damage. Extremely poor. And also, screwed up the <laughs> screwed up Malf's move. That's okay. So what comes next? A little plague grenade action. Start start hitting them with the the DOT. The reaping. Not that bad. Party heal can compensate. Are we going to party heal? Absolutely. Seems highly appropriate to mostly compensate for what just happened. The master beckons is another bad boy has been spawned. With a little repost attached to him. I think you rely on the Crusader to get the kill. You crit the frozen boy, that's what you do. He's not dead, but is very, very close. You are also not dead. Reality bent. Clutch dodge, Kate. That was huge. He's dead. Oh, he is dead. I forgot he was stunned. Okay, so he's he's iced. Now we can actually um, straight up. You want to just cut this fool, beauty. You want to land a blight on the Miller, but <laughs> okay. Thankfully, the Miller has no idea. Sorry, I woke you up, Tomo. Flail those crops, Daddy. The Miller has no idea that we're gonna get Malf on his butt now. Good, good stress reduction. Of course, I love it. Hit him with the plague grenade, Dad. He's blighted up. All right, there's 15 damage. He didn't even know what to do with. Smack him around. There's another 14 right off the top. You keep throwing out the party heals. He keeps throwing out those attacks. You keep throwing out those attacks. That's the way the game goes. You know what you do after that? You hit him again. You resisted the blight, you madman. Crops getting flailed. We resisted the blight as well. One good turn deserves another, wouldn't you say? Quick little heal on myself there. This unit is no longer stealth. Good dodge. We're waiting on a, a crit there. The crit's gonna make things a flippin' nightmare, but I still think you wanna ice this guy. That's fine. A zealous accusation puts him in a weird spot now. So you get to go twice, huh? That's how we do it now? That's 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 what fairness is in the modern era? You're insanely lucky. Eat it. A few too many attacks coming out right now. No denying it. Please stop with the reaping. I'd very much like my vessel to be able to take a turn. Clutch anti-venom, little stress reduction, full party heal, 444 four, four is a little low considering we got trinkets that buff that. You summoning a boy? Yes you are. Regular farmhand please. Beauty. I hate that he gets to go. Still okay on a stress level here. Seems like, from my perspective now, start going to town on this guy. We're starting to get him on the ropes. Just a little. Ten more damage. I think you keep it up. He's gonna feel the burn real quick. The harvest. That sounds way worse. Um, stress reduction, but he's got protection. Rushing and rushing around. Straight up. Stall. Lucky it worked. No reaping, please. Winter's Breath. Okay, so he's frozen. It's more annoying, but we're still working on this guy. Party heal, please. Huge. Double crit. Hollow Keening. 
Hmm. Stress and uh, horror. That's all right, because we still have two laudanum left. Not sweating it. You're guarded. I don't like that. If you're guarded, we might as well just hit you with a better attack. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Now, I don't... I mean... It's kind of the same boat. Four to six. Bleed resist the side. I still think you go plague grenade. Just to put this guy in zealous range. Is he zealously destroyed? No, he has one HP. The master beckons. New enemies. Okay. Farmhand? Not farmhand. Flail the crops. We're used to that. A lot of, a lot of crops have been flailed so far. Reaping. It happens. Our vessel is so slow, dude. Hollow keening. More uh, laudanum action, but you're actually okay. I might not use it on you. Pop that real quick. There's no choice. I mean, there's a choice, but there's really no choice. 4444. Four, four, four. You live with it. You live and learn. Dead. Untargetable. <clears throat> I'm annoyed because this guy is uh he's gonna step in front of this so what would you do try for a stun on this guy perhaps can't be done incision on who like for what purpose i guess what you would do is incision on this guy um and the reason is maybe your next attack will be able to sneak through here instead of hitting him with a zero damage dot but it's a it's a war of attrition right now no question about it You've targeted my most unstressed unit with horror. That is okay by me. And honestly, that sucks. Still, what do you do? I'm thinking a little party heal. Heard of it? Eight damage. Zealous won't get you. I think we just ice you, hopefully. Few too many low rolls in a row here, starting to make me feel the burn. It's all right, a little stress relief, even though it does buff him. Lucky me, we're up. Hopefully, that's what I meant. I meant he's up. Okay, please stop hitting Justin. Justin is—he's uh, a nice boy. Hey, it did one damage. Didn't resist. Okay, everything's coming up roses, dude. Um, I almost, I still feel like you go for the party heal, even though it's slow rolling a little bit, you know, you're stemming the tide. It's slowly slipping away, but the idea is that won't happen forever. We're trying for those high crits, but it's taking time. Reality bend, I don't mind. It's going to do like, I was going to say a ton of stress, but I don't mind. <clears throat> no reaping, please. Okay, or a little reaping. Just waiting for, like, the first time in Earth's history that we get a single dodge on that. It's all right. A little anti-venom. Good. Good, 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 good. Mouth. You saint. Stack them up. The master beckons. Better than the master baits. Thank you for no crit. That's all I could ever ask for. No reaping. Winter's breath. Okay, perhaps that's fine. I hate that that's a guard. But still. Honestly, you have to go for the high heal. Bingo. You do not need laudanum. I wouldn't mind you eating, but perhaps now is not the time. So you're going to block... If you're going to block, we might as well go for you instead. Good. Take one attack off the board. That might be worth our last laudanum, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking we save it for the healer. 50% stun. Could kill the corpse. Do we need to kill the corpse? I don't know. Honestly, I kind of prefer the stun right now. Just to buy us time, hopefully. Mouth, you god. 
You god of blightness. Let's go! It's a buff, so what? No, no, yes, we go next. I love it. Pop that anti-venom. Forget the corpse. Just smack him. It's the only thing you got. It's fine. Master beckons. Okay. Not that bad. Crit, please. We're getting there. Like, it's taking time, and I would never suggest it isn't. But we're getting there. I think on this one, we're more like... Hit Justin with a... I was hoping a better roll, but that's fine. And nine is still pretty good. Reality bend on our two most high-stress units. It is what it is. Mouth. You beauty. Hit him where it hurts, dude. Look at this. He's on 18. He's getting desperate. So am I. Yeah, like... <laughs> It's my wife asking me if I'm okay, because I'm saying some weird stuff right now. He's dead. He is dead. He's... He had one HP. He's gonna put Justin on death's door. No, Justin is two HP. Okay. No, 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 no. First, get this trash out of here, dude. I can't afford to be reposted. It's not worth the risk. Please. I mean, you're asking me? Ice this fool. That he might rest upon the Look at that. So Are you still chilling here? No, I didn't think so. Well, that was a landmark episode from my worldview. We accomplished, uh, some serious, I mean, we, we should get 60 shards, really. Maybe 70, all things considered. At least 65, because I'm not sure if it doubles the reward or if it doubles your total collected. Justin did get a disease. Oh, they hit level 5. Scurvy. Well, we'll handle that. The natophobia, I prefer not to. Man. Bad humor is also terrible, but still, dude, we made it through. We killed the Miller. Women Recruit shard mercenaries. A few select champion heroes have come to answer the strange call of the comet. They hunger for the spoils of this otherworldly vessel and can only be used for the endless harvest quest in the farmstead. They can be found by the stagecoach. Six more recruits than usual as well. Yo, that was huge. Excuse me, I think I've been, I've been ripped off. We do need a hound master. Then let's see. Why are you special? Because you're level six. Oh, interesting. Okay, good to know. I really want to buy some of the cool trinkets though. So I'm gonna be honest, I think we should dump uh, a double, but not Mathis. So probably invest in, uh... oh, we can't even invest in our hero barracks because I'd like to get a hound master, you know? But still, um, let's, let's handle our, our A team first. Kate's gonna need stress relief. I'm gonna need stress relief. It's gonna it's gonna be a couple weeks. Okay, well you're not getting any stress relief. What's Dan's problem? Tape problem? Tapeworm? Justin's problem? Scurvy? I actually think that it's worth treating the scurvy personally. And apart from that, thanks for watching. Not a lot of money, but a big mission. We'll figure out. Well, you know what? Let's do it right now. We got 47. We could buy one crystal trinket. Plague Doctor only. Extra dodge, extra blight chance, extra healing of medicinal herbs in inventory. To me, here's what I'm thinking. My boy Mouth came through in the clutch. He won us a lot on that last mission. So you know what? Congratulations, Mouth. Ashen distillation belongs to you. Two left. <laughs> But still, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Don't tweet my boy Mouth without his knowledge of what you're tweeting him about. Just tweet him and help him have a nice day. Say, hey, you saved NL's butt in Darkest Dungeon today. 
If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a lot as the series progresses, especially click the bell if you want to be notified when these go live. It's noon PST every single day. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.